আসসালামু আলাইকুম আই এম ডক্টর আসমাউল হোসনা অ্যাসোসিয়েট প্রফেসর ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ প্যাথোলজি বসুন্ধরা দিন মেডিকেল কলেজ ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্ট ওয়েলকাম টু ইউ অল টু ডেজ প্যাথোলজি সেশন টুডে আই এম গোয়িং টু ডিসকাস এ নিউ টপিকস দ্যাট ইজ হিলিং অ্যান্ড রিপেয়ার অ্যাট ফার্স্ট উই হ্যাভ টু নো হোয়াট ইজ হিলিং সো হিলিং ইজ দ্য রিপ্লেসমেন্ট অফ ডেস্ট্রয়েড টিস্যু বাই লিভিং টিস্যু of similar or dissimilar type and the regeneration means the growth of cells and tissue to replace lost structures by tissue of similar type the examples of regeneration are regeneration of parenchyma following pneumonia and the regeneration of uh, hepatocyte following viral hepatitis and lastly what is repair when the replacement of lost tissue by granulation tissue leading to formation of fibrous scar that is known as repair and the example is fibrosis following myocardial infarction now what are the cells of the body so the cells of the body are divided into three group on the basis of their proliferating activities and they are labile cells stable cells and the permanent cells the labile cells are also called continuous dividing cells the stable cells are the squeeze and cells and the permanent cells are non dividing cells when the proliferation occurs throughout the life replacing those that are destroyed that are labile cells that means continuous dividing cells and the examples are surface epithelia such as stratified squama surface of the skin oral cavity vagina and the cervix the lining mucosa of all the excretory duct of the glands of the body they are salivary glands pancreas and the biliary tract the columnar epithelium of the gastrointestinal tract and the uterus the transitional epithelium of the urinary tract and the cells of the bone marrow and hemopoietic tissue and in most of this tissue the mature cells are derived from the stem cells now the stable cells they have a low level of uh, replication but can undergo rapid uh, division in response to the stimuli and are thus capable of reconstituting the tissue of origin in this category the parenchymal cells of the liver kidney and the pancreas and the mesenchymal cells such as fibroblast smooth muscle vascular endothelial cells resting lymphocytes and other leukocytes now what are the permanent cells the permanent cells are also called non dividing cells the cells have left the cell cycle and cannot undergo mitotic division so this group belongs neurons skeletal muscle cells and the cardiac muscle cells now come to our next topics that is uh, granulation tissue what is granulation tissue uh, it is a special type of highly vascularized granulation tissue connective tissue and uh, which is composed of proliferating capillaries fibroblast and the inflammatory cells what about the characteristics the granulation tissues are pink soft and granular in appearance they are easily bleeds on touch due to rupture of new capillaries and they are insensible due to lack of nerve supply and resistant infection now come to the histology of a granulation tissue the formation of new blood vessels and the proliferation of fibroblast these new blood vessels are leaky allowing passage of protein and red cell into the extravascular spaces
now what about the uh, pathogenesis there are three phases we observe at first phase of traumatic inflammation and then phase of uh, demolition and lastly in growth of uh, ground lesion tissue in the phase of traumatic inflammation the damaged cell set in a motion the phenomenon of inf acute inflammation in the phase of uh, demolition the dead tissue cells and disintegrated polymorphs liberate their autolytic lysosomal enzyme there is an associated macrophages infiltration and these cells ingest particulate matter either digesting or removing it and uh, lastly in growth of granulation tissue the granulation tissue is formed by the proliferation and migration of the surrounding connective tissue elements there are two steps in this formation uh, one is stages of uh, vascularization and the stages of devascularization now what are the condition under which the granulation tissue is formed the granulation tissue is formed uh, in inflammation in in wound healing in thrombus and uh, in an infarction and then what are the factor that affecting granulation tissue formation they are scurvy glucocorticoids administration and protein starvation that's all about uh, today's lecture my dear student inshallah see you again in our next class till then allah hafiz